football on the ground. They came into tonight's game. That's what they said they wanted to do. They're very open about it. They have not been happy with their ground game. The first two attempts have been successful attempts. Second down and two. Drew Pearson in motion, number 88. Staubach, play action fake. Looking for Tony Hill. He's wide open. That's down. Six points. Tony oh, Hill. Oh, boy. Sprinting past the zone. Touchdown, Dallas. Third play of the ball game. Oh, uh, Roger. Roger, Roger. One of the things he'll always make this go if you run two good runs right before him and set it up, had time to throw, had a little motion move by Pearson. You saw Hill come down and go straight to the middle. Nothing really fancy, but you see Pearson coming in behind him. If anything, he just blew right past number 22, Bernard Wilson. Tony Hill caught 60 balls for over 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Tell you, that was a good hold by Laidlaw because he was hit by Bolton. Bolton wants the Patriot, another one who's come on here for Cleveland. Ball just short of the 48-yard line of the Cleveland Browns. Drew Pearson, 88, in motion. Roger floods back to the left, tries to get single coverage. He's got it. There you go. That's Tony oh. Hill, and we're going to have a ball game tonight. So don't again his fourth of the year and he's having a super season Don. You can count on it. Well when you see this on the replay and you'll see what Tony Hill did. Watch it from the end zone Don. Little slight roll you see him hiding there behind Fitzgerald the center. Quick little fake one way. Yeah on the other side which we really didn't quite see. Hill gave him an outside fake move right down the middle and had him beat by about five or six yards. This is the guy that Blitzed handball to number 55, the strong side linebacker. He got a late start. And as soon as Rogers saw that there was going to be single coverage, the ball was on the way. Watch the left part of your screen. 55 will come, handball, and then get a late start. And now it's one on one. That's the third touchdown catch for number 88. What a throw, huh? Beautiful throw, right on. Spread formation quickly breached the heart of a secondary for tight ends Billy Joe Dupree and number 84, Gene Fugit. Fugit's versatility made him a valuable swing man who also played wide receiver, a position with little depth but big. Not nearly so pretty for the Houston Oilers. But look at this perfectly thrown pass and look at the range that he opened up on J.C. Wilson. Drew just pulled away beautifully. Precise patterns, either short or deep. His eight touchdowns, 55 receptions, and 1,000. A flat start put Dallas in a 10-0 hole until Golden Richards dug them out with a 57-yard catch and carry. The Cowboys gained a 14-10. And it enabled Golden Richards to beat Viking safety Terry Brown, who was filling in for the injured Jeff Wright. Golden 16, third and 14. Guess who's in the game for the Cowboys? Number 33. 33. And 26 stays. Two good receivers. Stallback is deep. Gerard Williams. Stallback read the blitz and just threw it up in the air. And Pearson is really nifty. He's from another century, maybe the 24th. I try to know them better than they know themselves. If they play me close, it might rain touchdown.
Dallas led the NFL in both offense and defense. Hard evidence that supported Landry's contention that this team was potentially his most devastating. From the opening whistle, the Cowboys disposed of eight... The Cowboys became the first team in NFL history to have three players gain over a thousand yards in a season. Joining Pearson and Hill was Tony Dorsett. The other was a 75-yard shot to Lance Rensel for a first quarter touchdown that was all the scoring the Cowboys needed to ensure victory over the Cardinals. Rensel's second touchdown came on the Cowboys' very favorite. With a record of 10 and 4 in the regular season. This was last week against Los Angeles. And at this point, the Rams were closing. Roger Stoffa throwing down the middle as the Cowboy lead at this time was 1 point, 17 16. This is the spectacular rookie number 88, Drew Pearson. And this was the game breaker as Stoffa put it out of reach from Los Angeles with this completion. That's as close to a victory dance as you'll ever see by Pearson as he got it in the end zone. Lost to the yard. Third down now. A long three. Saw that. Ball deflected, but it's still caught there by number 33, Tony Dorsett. And it's quick out. Oh, look out. All right. Carl Thompson misses. It should be all over. It's all over. Touchdown, Dorsett. Being congratulated, there's not a cold in the area. All right. That ball was deflected, wasn't it? It sure was. It didn't appear it would even get to Dorsett. When you see this in replay, Don, watch. Watch Dorsett. Hold position. There it was. See it deflected? Almost. Oh, he almost got it again. That's right. His vision was blocked on the ball. He held position, picked it off, and from there on in, look at that move. Boy, is he a sweet little runner. Oh, he's not bad. All fluid, all grace. There you go. Give it five. That's dance on him. Saw that throwing right up from his own gun. Reflected, touched twice, I believe, and away he goes. Look at that. I will get on him, but that ball didn't spot. Norm Thompson, I don't think he even touched him. Just grabbed a handful of air. Ah, uh, yeah. See him shake the hand of his teammate as he moves. Going to throw it back to the goal line. Passes to the Colts.